Well, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Pete. Now, for today, uh, we are heading to my local um, box stores just to just to uh, check and see what they have in stock. Now, I haven't been to my Lowe's or Home Depot in a while, so um, I'm really not sure what they might have. Hopefully, it's something good. Also, I'm not sure I'm going to pick up anything today. Probably not, just because of um, the things that I'm looking for. Usually, like the Lowe's or the Home Depot don't have it, and that's usually on the the upper end of the rare side. So. Um, well, rare or uncommon or hard to find. Anyway, um, they usually don't have them, but they do sometimes carry Morantas and and um, some dumb canes and different kind of other plants that I'm pretty sure that I would probably get if I needed it, but I'm currently, I'm not in the market for any of those. So, I mean, who knows? at this point so um yeah so i'm going to try to hit my lows and my home depot now there is an ace i don't know if you guys if you um been following me i've been watching the channel um there is an ace um ace is a i don't know if you guys have it or not but it's a hardware store um but of course they specialize in um Guarding and yard uh, supplies as well. Um, I guess I'll go down this way and wait at this long flight. Guys, this flight takes forever. But um, this video here, I guess, for my my uh, plant nursery tours, I guess it would be vlog style. That makes a lot more sense. Well, at least to me, that is. But. Um, yeah, guys, this is it's going to be very interesting. And hopefully, they're not packed or crowded. It's just today is Sunday, um, January the twenty. Uh, I don't know, January the twenty something. Okay, it's like the twenty third or twenty fourth or something of that nature. So, yeah, hopefully um, I can get in here and get out and go to the next one. Now, in my area, or the city, rather, there's only, in my city, there's four lows. There are one, two, I think there might be two, two lows here um, in my city, but in the area code, um, we carry two cities, I think maybe two or three, four little cities. But anyway, out of the whole area code, which is 478, there's a total of lows, maybe, um, I would say six, six or five-ish. And then Home Depot, for some odd reason, they only have like one per city, which is very strange. So uh, I think a total for both cities, both major cities would be Maybe two, um, at max three, but I'm pretty sure two. So, they, and then for me, the, the Home Depot down here, they don't have a nice selection of plants. Um, and it's usually, again, just because of who is, um, I guess, whose manager or supervisor, whoever ordered the plants. Um, I'm pretty sure those people are the ones that are not really keeping up as into what's what is the it plan or who's buying what and what's going on so for the most part they just keep in stock the same exact plants that they've been having for i would say years now so but again you know um there is like at ace i do talk to like the supervisors and the managers you know over over that certain um area which is usually the plant area and um, what 
what I normally would do is um, talk to her and see exactly what they've been ordering or what she has on her list to try and order. So that way, um, if I'm looking for anything specific, she's able to <clears throat> go in and see can she find them and order them. Now keep in mind that these dealers or um, big box stores, these companies actually have other different different companies that they work with and they're able to um, get plants at a much cheaper rate and of course they do the, the upsell once they get it but um, they get plants at a different rate and they sell them back to us so that's technically for us that's a good thing but depending on the plant and the price it could also be bad so I'm technically not sure about that but you know, um, but yeah, I talked to her and she's able to help out sometimes when I'm looking for a certain <clears throat> a certain kind of plant. Now, um, if it's something like crazy expensive or crazy rare, then I will have to either pay a lot for it or um, find another route to go. <sighs> Which also sucks as well but I mean uh, what what can you do but all right guys I have pulled up here uh, I haven't figured out how to work this camera yet but as you can see it only took me like what three minutes from the house which is why you know this loads is like one of my favorite places to go to and um, but in a way Home Depot was like literally right across the road I'm looking at it right now I'm sitting in the parking lot and I wish I, this thing has a lot of buttons on it, and I'm sure if I hit the wrong thing, it's going to cut off like it did last night. But um, I would try to turn, turn. Yeah, let's 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 do this. Ha, at least I can take it off. I'll figure it out, guys. But um, there's the sign right there, and you barely can see the building over there, but. Um, yeah, I'll figure that out. I guess I'll do it once I get home and start my editing process. But, yeah, um, I am currently here now in the parking lot, and we are fixing to go in and see what they have. Hopefully, it's something good. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick anything up yet. But um, if I do, you know, you guys will know eventually. So um, let's go ahead and go on in here and get this over with. But um, don't want to forget my old lucky trusty mask here, guys. This here is like so stressful. You can't even just be normal no more. Like, when does the normalcy come back? Um, hopefully you guys can hear me up on this thing. Um, I think they're doing look like pressure washing or something. I don't know, but um. Let's get out of here. Let's get my stick here. All right. And my wallet. And then let's go. I think I have everything. like they cleared out a lot here as you probably can see it's water here all right okay guys let me turn this camera around for you all right guys this is what we have in here um I'm going to do a, try to do a run through. Oh, those look variegated. 
Real quick, for a run through, real quick. This is the clearance rack. But for the most part, um, she seemed to be okay. Again, there's from just the eyeball look. There's nothing here that I would get per se. It's pretty monster. These guys are the Monstera Delicioso. They are a $60 in a 6.5 gallon pot, guys. They are pretty. But with these, as I said before, they have their own wild growing pattern. And I just don't too much care for that myself. But the leaves and foliage are just wonderful. Also some succulents here. All right, let's start down. I guess over here. Um, these look like little buns eyes, um, which actually don't look too good, but um, look like live trends, minimalist. They're like sixteen ninety eight. And the planters that they are in are just awesome, like this one here. And then also, looks like a, a cat or a camel. These are the air plants here. And then we also have some ficus. ZZ plants. If I'm not mistaken, this is a money plant. Yep. Um, as you can see, they are pretty healthy for the most part. Now, some of the foliage, of course, looks like pests, but. Um, <clears throat> You really can't help that here on the mass scale. Now over here, there are a variety pot. As you can see, um, there are some orchids in here, which I really love. Uh, move down here some more, um, some more arrangements here. That looks like a, um, maybe a jelly bean peperomia, I think. Um, I don't too much care for these here, bromeliads, just because I think you have to cut the flower off before they die. I don't know the pups, and then the mother before they die. I have no clue. And this one has some croutons in it as well. Um, this is this one is a um, what is it, a pink long pride love line. That's a long name for it but the leaf on it is gorge. And I just love orchids, guys. Again, I get my orchids from here or Home Depot off the clearance just because of, um, as a matter of fact, they look like these, they come in the Coco, Cocoma, I think that's what they call, balls. And um, I found them on clearance. And the Actual price for these, as you can see here, are $16.98, but when I get mine on clearance, they're like $3. And of course, um, I clean them out and then I do what I need to do with them. But I don't know if you guys can see that because of the whitewash, but let me pull this one down. It just looks spectacular. Look at that. That is just wonderful. Yeah, it comes down in this cocoa. There it is. Cocodoma orchid ball thingy. Okay, yeah. So, um, if you ever see any orchids, any more orchids in my collection, I can. Oh my God. Look at this one, guys. Oh my. And this camera is doing no justice. 
and I mean none whatsoever. And it's just, look at that, look at that. But um, these orchids here are 15.98. So the ones in the pots are cheaper than the coco, cocodoma balls or however you pronounce it. <clears throat> All right, so then let's move down here. We also have some calla lily orchids, which are looks like in little smaller pots for seven ninety eight, as you can see. Um, there's not much of a variety to choose from, um, especially because I would have definitely got this one just because. All right, guys, let's move on down here. Now, I've never, ever seen this kind of orchid before. Is this an or Yo, this is the calla lily orchid, guys, that we literally just seen. And they are phenomenal. They are $15.98. comes in a ceramic pot um, with orchid moss. But look at that. That is awesome. Now, if you go down... To the back here, there's this purple one here. Let's see if you're not. There she is. That is just wonderful. And then over here, um, you should know these pots here. Um, let's flip this over. And there we go. Trending Tropical Collection. Now, of course. Um, either I'm late, which I'm sure I am, and it's gone, all the good, good, good stuff, <laughs> it's gone, but, um, at least I know that they do carry them in, but these are your ficus here, uh, it looks like a six, eight, maybe a no, six inch pot, yeah, with your glass ceramic, these are the newer ones, which I'm looking forward, um, to getting, if you're, See my collection or some of them you notice that they are in the white ones which i love and it started my obsession with the ceramic glass pots but yeah these are your ficus that they have left which are in pretty good shape as i might say um i'm not a ficus guy at all um if i was i probably would have been have got one by now but there is one called the I think it's like Aubrey or Audrey or something like that. And um, it's like a camouflage lime. I'm seeking to insert a quick picture, but you know, <clears throat> I would love that one. Now, back down here, this looks like the, um, the Zinzi, maybe? Yeah. Oh my God, guys. They have Zinzis here. I don't know if you guys are looking for these, but they have Zinzi uh, Perfect Green Home, I guess. Though, well, this is a Lowe's um, collection, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yes, $10, guys. And it comes inside of a nice little glass ceramic pot. And there are four here. There's like a tan one as well. But they are wonderful. And the pots... Yeah, there's four to choose from, guys. I haven't seen any of these at all um, here. Luckily, I don't necessarily need one. Now, even though I could grab it just because, but I don't know, guys. We will see at the end of the video if I will get one or not. But there is four of them down there. Now, up here, there are the bigger... Um, orchids, as you see, for $25.98. Sits in a bigger ceramic pot. Now let's move on here. Um, we have also have some bonsais again that are growing. Um, check this one out, guys. Let's see, can we get in here? There she is. Um, nice selection of bonsais here. Um, these look a lot better than the other ones, a lot better than the other ones, so, I'm not sure what kind, but they are costa or coastal form, 
Oh, she thick. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Look at, check this one out, guys. Oh, my God. That is pretty. That is one pretty plant. Oh, my. Oh, my. And it's only $24.98, which is not bad for a bonsai, if you ask me. Because we all know it takes some time for that bonsai to actually bonsai, if you get what I mean. Um, this is back wall. Let's see what we have here. Um, I think these are calicoes, if I'm not mistaken. We have some nerve plants here. Make sure, yep, red line, nerve plants. Um, Jenny Craig. These are funny looking growing plants. Kind of reminds me of a bromeliad. Um, we also have a Brazil in here. This is a Warniki or Warnaka. Make sure, yeah, Warnik, Warnika, or something like that. I'm not good with names, guys. <clears throat> All right. We have our Dracaena. They have renamed these. I think you've seen these before. One of the other um, quick tours I did. We also have your infamous golden pothos here, guys. It's only $9.98 which is a good price and as you can see here they are healthy now I am currently looking for a neon pothos but uh, miraculously they are kind of hard to find something that used to be very very um, simple and easy to find are now hard and almost impossible um, all right, so let's move on. We have a Hawaiian sunshine here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking and not holding the camera. Hawaiian sunshine here. I think this is a just um, Jacana, Dracaena, whatever. Uh, one of the two. It is $9.98, and she is actually, she looks pretty good. But for me, uh, this is not my type of plant, but... They're good to look at. Now, this one here, if I would buy a um, Dracaena, it would be something kind of dramatic like this one here. But how they grow, I don't too much care for the bareness of that certain stem. So, um, yeah, I would end up probably using like a filler or something else for it. But who knows? Um, if I move up one here, we have your purple waffle, which these here grow pretty good for me. And look at the backs on these here. Just wonderful. Um, next. Next to it, we have a Maria Arrowhead. Now, I like these because they're not your traditional arrowhead, which are green. This one has that brown, kind of purplish hole to it, and they're actually pretty good. Uh, let's move on. What do we have here? I think this is a, maybe a lemon button. I'm not sure. It looks like a lemon button. Yep, I ah, got it. Lemon button. I used to have one of these guys, but ferns for me just don't work out. Also, there is a nice, pretty Kimberly Queen, if I'm not mistaken, for $10. There she is. Gorgeous. Look at these leaves on furling. Let's put her back. She was growing healthy and just fine. 
All right, let's move on to the next one. Um, I'm not sure what kind this is. Of course, it just says um, beautiful home decor. Some of you guys might know what kind of plant that is. Definitely not sure. Um, up top here is a variegated waffle. But she looks full. Um, 11.98. So that is wonderful. Then we also have here um, Sunny Star Crouton, which are pretty nice. Um, what else do we have in here? Um, we have. A Florida beauty here guys growing the variegation on it is to die for I think I have covered I think I didn't get this little fern palm here is a oh what is that Nanthi Bella palm uh, let's see here this is a, another red vein plant um, this is a, <clears throat> I'm not, I cannot pronounce that. Maybe you can do it. I'm not even going to try, but it reminds me of a Sissus, um, one of the Sissus, not the this color, but the other Sissus. Um, we also have some begonia stuff back here as well. Uh, let's see. I didn't do any of these. Where are these here? Dragon's Tongue. Another interesting guys. Um, would definitely probably, for me, I would use this as a filler because it has that hole on the back, which is actually just wonderful. Look at the sheen that one when it does that. Just right next to her, we have the yellow ripple ivy. And this is actually looks pretty good. All right, now I think that is it. I mean, everything is pretty much the same, guys. It's just spread out. And I think this here. I'm not sure which kind of begonia this is, but it is a Rex begonia. Yeah, I think I covered everything which one is this here this is a olympia false or leah or Valala. yeah i think that is it uh, let's, let's move over here and again Look at this, look at, look, 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 at this here. I've never in my life, ever in my life seen anything like this. These orchids are just, oh my, I can see why people actually fall for, look at that. I can see why people actually fall for orchids. This is just, oh my goodness, check this, check that one out. Let's see, can we get in here, and there she is, just her teeth. Um, Dom King, guys. Um, I mean, yeah, different back here, doesn't say what kind but for $14.98 birds of paradise it looks like the white one which is what we usually carry yep white birds of paradise $14.98 this is a pretty decent size it's not that bad it's a new leaf trying to unfurl here oh also so back here we have some snake plants, which are also $14.98. We 
have some majesty palm. Some pretty big majesty palm for twenty dollars here. There's some down here that comes in a, a nice planter, but these are $50. Alright guys, and here's your Lucky Bamboo Collection. These plants right here was probably within the first top 10 plants that I owned when I first, very, very first started. My plant journey when I was a young, young little boy. All right, start on this corner here. I'm gonna have some kind of cactus in this already um, glued down, not supposed to be rock there. Um, right next to that, we have our plant of steels here. And this is a, if I'm not mistaken, a sago palm or some kind of sagato. Let's check it. Huh, right there. Yeah, Sago Palm for $13.98. Comes in different color plastic planters. Some more down here at the bottom as well. Um, there are some more of these Sago Palms, but in this rock that we don't like. Here are your Sansevieras that we just seen for $16.98, which is not that bad. Your bigger sugar palm and a bigger pot here. Um, here's another Jacina here that is $12.98, which is not bad. This is a nice color, as you know. I love this foliage. Um, there's another older Dracaena here for $14.98. Thicker stems, and of course, the foliage is a lot bigger. Down here at the bottom, guys, I haven't seen these in a while. These are some ponytail palms. Now, these things get huge, and if you get them, um, I guess while you're young, or you can get them big, I mean, it's fun to watch them grow. But yeah, here are some more ponytail palms. These ones are have been cut or split, and as you can see, there are multiple growth points, which makes it look a lot fuller compared to that one. <laughs> Up here in the grow wick pots, we have your infamous peace lilies, um, which are looks a pretty good size. As you know, like I know, peace lilies grow fast, and this one is pretty big, honestly. And they are $13.98. And as you can see, they are flowering. Here are some more Dracaenas or Dracaenas, however you want to pronounce it. I'm gonna forgot the name of these here. Um, but it says Hawaiian. Oh, quarter line. There we go. These are your quarter lines for $14.98. Here are some medium, um, yeah, um, ficus here for $19.98, which is in like a gallon jug or gallon pot. And then we also have some chiflera. It's like the variegated kind. These are nice. Check out that foliage for $14.98 as well. Have some bigger ficus here for $20. Um, Oh, 14, well, it says 14.98 here for the field of leaf, but it says 19 on the pot, so, you know, if I'm here, guess what, um, I'm getting this price that was on it, and um, up top here is some kind of variegated ivy, golden dust ivy, let's pull this down, guys. This actually looks pretty, pretty awesome. Holy crap, check this out. Golden dust ivy. This is 
some spectacular of it. Look at that variegation right there. Oh my. This is crazy. And it is $16.98. And as you can see, uh, it won't be long before. Oh. I just don't like when they do that, but what choice do they have, you know? Um, this is Strikes Forever. If I'm not mistaken, a nerve plant. That is that was just like gold dust. That is one nice plant. This is a blue blue magic orchid. Look at this. People have their roots doing this. I mean, I don't know. That's very natural, kind of, sort of. But I don't too much care for it. Um, of course, some more quarter lines back here. For $14.98. Here are some purple ones. Check that out. Alright. And here's one more smaller flower one. Orchid. It is, uh, I'm not even trying to pronounce that, guys. Maybe you can do that. Yep. And here, again, I think things that are on clearance, which for me is, you know, nothing here. There's a $5 ZZ that needs some help. Oh, yeah, there's nothing really wrong with these. They just need a good clean down and probably a repot like this $15 plant is $5 and it is a cane pretty big cane plant I do love this little setup here but it's still original price and as you can see the clearance price is still pretty high and I just will only want the container so yeah, I most definitely wouldn't do that. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do now is go out and look through clearance just to see what they have. Oh gosh, check this out. I didn't mention this, but here is the strawberry begonia that I mentioned that I need. And check out the little hairs. It is very hairy, but it is a begonia, strawberry begonia. Look at the vines, and she is ready to spread. And I mean, look at that. And I'm pretty sure it is $14.98. Ah, uh, nope, $16.98. It went up. All right. I'm just gonna run out here real quick and um, probably won't because of this loud pressure washer. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't see anything anyway, guys. So uh, we are going to go to our next location. Of course, you know, they did have some good things in there, but those are the things, like I said before, that I'm currently not even in the market for. So uh, for me, that was a bust. But again, if you are looking for some and someone is ever down in this area, check out the Lowe's um, here. If I'm not mistaken, I think I already said there's like two or maybe three here in this city. And the best one is actually maybe 40 something minutes away from me, I think. No, that's too, entirely too long. Um, maybe 15, 10 minutes. I mean, it's in the same city, but as you know, it takes a little while to get on the other side of town with all this crazy traffic and people everywhere. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, is 
run across the street here to the um, Home Depot and I guess see what they have. Usually, I can honestly tell you, if you find something at Home Depot that you were, that I've been looking for, is it, it, I just had a lucky, very lucky day because I usually don't find anything, at least here, at Home Depot. Now, the Home Depot up in Atlanta, towards my capital, let me tell you, there's this Home Depot that is just, I don't know, it's, it's for the gods. How about that? It's set right, it's, the, the setup is just so tranquil. And the person that runs the the garden center knows exactly what she's doing. And within, she said within her budget range, she tries to get plants that people are looking for, but also um, trying to price them so that they're not sitting there and then getting messed up and they lose money for a expensive plant. But also they don't want to buy something and then undersell it and they still lose money. But I get the process, but of course that is a journey and um, I will do a plant tour on them as well because I, I, I'm telling you, like when you go towards your capital of any state, things start to, I would say, fluctuate as in um, appearance and quality and it makes sense, but yeah. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go because as most of you guys know, I will talk your ear off without even busting and move so you know the camera is rolling so why not just talk and drive at the same time but I am heading across the street here to the Home Depot to check them out and hopefully they have some good things in there I'm pretty sure they won't but you know hey fingers crossed something that I can um, grab that I need and even if like that Raven Zinzi or the um, strawberry begonia that I might go back and get which I'm pretty sure is going to sit there even that that ivory gold dust or golden dust ivory ivy now that is pretty ivy but for me I don't I mean, I love the ivy, don't get me wrong, but I'm not in the market of having something that can technically grow and suck the life out of something else, if you get what I'm saying. And how I want my plants to grow is basically, you know, I don't want to say together, but with this one here, you can put it on one side of the room, and of course, the way it grows it will make its way all the way to the other side of your room where your plants are, you know, while carrying pests and diseases and also um, while maneuvering within those plants, it will find its way to a pot or a trunk and go for what it you know, which is usually um, taking nutrients or stealing nutrients from a plant, which is why you will see most people when they have big trees they try their best to make sure there's nothing growing on that tree weed wise because I'm telling you it's doing nothing but sucking the poor little life out of your tree and eventually someone will have to pay a almost thousand two thousand bill for a tree cleanup and I'm pretty sure no one wants that so just keep an eye on that as well but we have made it again as you can see that was not even what two minutes we've made it here um, all right let's put my trusty dusty mask on here uh, I do this every time mask on all right earbud back in my wallet is in my pocket let's grab you oh guys are you all right did I hurt you Hey guys, you okay? You all right? Oh, oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna set this here back up. All right. Just get out of here. Let's turn this camera around. Ooh. So, as you can see, we have made it to Home Depot. Uh, 
Alright guys, so as you can see by their selection here, um, as I said in the car, it's usually not that good, but um, I would normally, usually I would normally wait till it warms up to try and come in here and get a plant, but oh look at this regal shield. Normally try to come in here and get a plant, but um, the cold looked like it did some damage. But let's do this. Let's go back. This is the Regal Shield. Check out the back on this big plant here. Gosh. Oh my. And then there's a new leaf trying to unfurl here. Now this plant is $30. Yep. Yeah. $29.98 and I'm not sure if it comes in that planter or not but that is one awesome plant um, these here are also some if I'm not mistaken some bonsais I'm not sure which kind we also have your orchids here which looks like they didn't bring them in guys and um, yeah, they're going to eventually be thrown away, I guess. Now, I don't know about your Home Depot or any others, but they don't, um, do clearance for some odd, strange reason, but there's not clearance here. Um, this is your succulent table here. I'm not much of a succulent guy, even though I do have a few. But they just sit outside, except for my uh, um, Zebrino, a zebra worthy. She sits in the house. Now, this is a pretty interesting looking one. Worthy collection species associated. There's no name, but my guy. It's pretty. Aloe vera. Some more award these down here. Um, I used to, I wanted to do the collection or start collecting them. Just because they're smaller plants and they're out of the way. Um, you know, some more here. I think these are jade, maybe? Yep, they're jade plants. Um, I have these at the house. What are the name of these? These are um, let's just say Cacolent Succulent um, Constant Form, but yeah. Probably says the same thing, huh? Yeah. I don't know the names of these, but these guys here are just hairy. Fuzzy like. These here are your um, were once Peperomia. The frost hit them. And then we also have over here, guys, um, dry as ever, I think, are Kimberly Ferns, $11.98. And then we also have your Sega Pond for $11.98 as well. We have some bromeliads here. Again, guys, most of these plants, you know, this is Lowe's, I mean Home Depot, so. Um, we have a steel plant here for $10. For some of these, I mean, are not in the best condition. And if you're with me, I'm, I, I guarantee you guys, we are haggling down prices, especially um, if they look like this. But we have, I know, a Rex Begonia here. Some ivy. Syngonium, a fern, there's a Jacina, uh, not sure what kind of Tritoscanthias these are, but they are $3. Um, Red Hill, Tritoscanthias, they're thick. Mm. 
which also would be a plus for getting as well. And then here is a Birds of Paradise that's sitting in this planter as well. Now over here for the bigger side, um, this is Norfolk Pine, 1498, which actually looks pretty good if they were like a house pine. Um, they're not pokey pokey, wait, let's make sure. They're not too pokey pokey, but um, they just look like a tropical pine kind of sort of, but they are uh, 14 98 and it comes in this nice red planter here. It looks like a a fancy Christmas tree. Um, right here, I think these are asparagus ferns, maybe? Foxtails. These are foxtails ferns. And of course, this is what they call it, the foxtail. Um, right behind it, we have some alocasia long galabra long i don't know guys what does that say long jalogabua whatever 1498 not in the best conditions but if you know like i know um alocasias and calocasias are really pretty easy to grow and they're sitting out here in the rain as we can see this one here is full of water guys this just irks me and then you can't even i would at least put this on clearance and let someone who knows what they're doing try and to salvage and save it at least you can get some money back instead of zilch that's twenty four ninety eight. if they're any good here is another big um yucca elliptus she is pretty big there all right let's move on down here some more majesty palms your norwick um, um pines as well which look like i said pretty good needs a a repot but they look pretty good and then down here these are some massive regal shields and i mean massive and then I, you know, guys, I have pretty big hands. So please check out this trunk. Oh my God. Holy crap. For $30. Um, here's a smaller leaf. Usually the ones we see. Let's check out the back on her. Look at that. Wonderful. It's just like a canopy under here. These things are huge. And again, they're only $30. Um, I wouldn't want anything this massive unless they are outside. And it would have to be like my own. Look at that. My own property. Jesus. And um, this one here is unfurling, guys. Check this out. Um, it would have to be my own. Oh, my. I keep saying that. But, guys, you have no clue. The, oh, let's go around on the other side. But it would have to be my own personal yard so that they wouldn't move from the spot that I am putting them in. But I don't know if I can step on this or not, but check how big that leaf is right there. It's just huge. But um, what else do we have here? Now, these here... I forgot what kind of ferns these are. They are the the bigger version. Uh, macho fern for night fourteen ninety eight. As you can see, macho they are pretty big. And then right next to it, we have a um, maybe a gallon pot of Sansevera here. They usually don't have anything like in the inside um they usually keep all their plants out here so honestly there's no point of me going in the inside but that is technically it for home depot guys there are some more succulents over here this horrible paint that they do to the plant which as you can see kills it so yeah, guys.
Um, let's head back to the car. Need some more aloes here. Assorted pots of succulents. I mean, which aren't too bad, like this one here. Like, just these pots here reminds me of Easter jelly beans. But succulents are not my thing. And these little guys are super hairy as well. Don't know the name of those. This is like one of the jelly bean colored ones. All right, guys. Okay, guys, we are heading back to the car now. As you can see here in this Home Depot, I usually don't go to this one, but I just decided in a way, you know, why not? But I usually don't go to this one. And as you can see, that is why. Um, it's kind of strange because one spot, one spot over waters, and then the other spot under water. And it's just, you know. Now, the only spot that I do know that meets in the middle is the infamous Ace Hardware. And I'm not sure I'm going to make that one today because it is in the other city over. And that is about maybe 20 to 30 minute drive just to get to the other. And then it's not like it's in the other city, but once you get to the city, you have to go to the other side of the town of that city, and it just sucks, guys. But yeah, I um, yeah, let's go to the next one now. I'm going to go to um, one more Lowe's, I think. Yeah, I'm going to try to. Go to one more Lowe's, guys, just because um, I haven't been to this one in a little while. And it doesn't take that long to get there. And it's also in the same city, so why not? Now, again, uh, even the other Ace, there's also another Ace that I I go to in another city. Uh, yeah, you have to stop from another city. Which is Perry, but again, that's the only way and out the way. So, yeah, I would rather stay close by. So that way I can make it home a lot quicker than just driving through this traffic, which is always horrible. But, I don't know. All right, guys, I will see you once I get there. All right, guys, we have made it inside of the next Lowe's. And from what I'm seeing, they have a much better, much, much better selection. I guess that might be clearance right there. Let me switch the camera around. All right, guys, um, a quick overview here. Even down here in the front, as you can see, Trending Tropical Collection. And let's start over here. Um, of course, we have your Santa Vera here. Um, for $14.98, looks like a gallon pot or maybe two liters. You have your quarter line stashed over there. Um, your Majesty Palms as well. Prices, um, it looks like fourteen ninety eight. Let's go around here and check. Yeah, good. As you can see, yeah, uh, there are no nineteen ninety eight. I'm sorry about that. Um. I found the Trending Tropical box. I don't know if these are the old ones because the newer faces come in, they're black. But these here are the old white ones. You have your little fiddle. Now I think this here is another. A black plate, a plum, a 
fiddle here that um, I think is a, yep, it's still a um, ficus, guys. It just grows smaller. Now, this one here I wouldn't mind having just because that it grows a lot smaller and less leggier, I would think or presume. Haven't done much research on them, but um, little, so I guess, you know, it's smaller. But here's your Raven ZZs. As you can see, nice selection here. This time last year, impossible to find. And then down below, we have some more trending tropical collection begonias. I'm not sure which ones these are, but check out the backs on them. They honestly look like two different kinds, guys. They are. I'm not sure which one this one is. I'm pretty sure it just says trending tropical collection, yep. With the nice ceramic pot. And as you know, I love these. All of mine older ones are like this in that pot. But here's another different kind of begonia as well from the trending tropicals. And I just spotted a flower. Oh, there she is. Nice. But they are healthy for the most part, guys. These are begonias. So they don't need much of anything. Just decent light. But yeah. Trending tropicals. Now, we are going to work our way around to the back side. All right, now we have here on this wall all your anthuriums. Looks like the regular red ones, they are smaller. They are 10.98. Um, it says Ethereum and ceramic pot. So um, they come in nice ceramic glasses, white and the red ones here. And on down, we have some healthy looking peace lilies. They're in a grow wick pot or wick and grow. Yep, we can grow for 13.98. I also have down here on the next shelf for your sago palms with like iron steel plants. We also have the ones here in the already glued, not needed rock. We have some bird's nest San Severa for the $13.98. Right next to them, we have um, some. ZZ plants for 1098. And then down here we have some more Sansevera and then these other little cactus things. Let me see if they have a, a name for them. Crested Euphorbia. I guess that's the name of them. Um, as you can see, come in two different kinds. They're um, it's a green kind, and I guess a white or variegated kind. Um, and down here we have, are oh, these ponytail? Yep, ponytail palms for $13.98. Alright, over here on this side we are looking at some orchids for $16.98. I haven't seen this kind before. Regular looking flowers. And there's another orchid here, combination with some croutons as well for $34.98. Now we also have, I guess you would call these starters, maybe. Um, $13.98 Vanda orchid. Um, then we also have some cattle lilies as well. Um, we also have the Lucky Bamboo for $5.98. Right next to it. I'm not sure they're any good or alive, but these are the... Um, yeah, I don't think they're alive. It sucks, but Venus flytrap, guys. And then also we have down here some exotic 
orchids for $13.98. Oh, look what I just spotted here. Stag Harm Farms. And I haven't seen these in a while, or even seen them here in a while. Um, two pretty good sized ones, I would say. $5.98. Check out this other one as well. Here we go, guys. It's pretty good size. I'll stick you back in here. And then this one I already have it. Lip on it. Alright, so up here we have some bromeliads in the Cocoderma. And again, you know, I don't too much care for the Bambiliads at all, but they are nice to look at. We also have some buttons eyes here as well. Um, for $13.98. These Coco Dermas, they are $11.98. $11 and then also there's a nice size pot of your Belgian waffle. So it looks pretty nice. All right, down here on this shelf, guys, we have a smaller um, Snow White Belgian waffle here for $3.98. We also have a Sterling Ivy. All of these are in $3.98 pots. Um, we have the Croton or Crouton. We have their purple waffle back here. I'm pretty sure for $3.98. Um, it looks like there's some succulents back there, some kind of lilac or lilac mist, 1098. Um, we also have right here some spear point, I'm correct, yep, spear point ivy, 398 as well. Um, bird's nest fern, which also looks pretty healthy. These are like 598, yep, these are a little bit bigger pot for 598. We have some begonia. Um, not sure which kind, but it's a Rex begonia. This one has a, a kind of shine or shimmer to it. And these are something fingers, bird nest fern. I'm not sure which one, but something fingers, if I'm not mistaken, maybe. I don't know. But they are $11.98. We also have some bigger birds in this fern for $11.98 as well. Now down here we have our um, Petra, I think Crotons or Croutons, however you want to say them. They are $9.98, which are also a pretty good size as well. And then right next to them we have some... Um, Kimberly Queen ferns, which are also um, $10.98 as well. All right. Now here on this table, we have some, um, I think these are Jacanas, Jacinas, however you want to say it, for $14.98. There's this kind here which has that lovely green streak in it. And then we also have this variety as well. And I think these have been renamed or reclassified, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but they are Jacinas as well. Um, here's another um, a fern here. Um, a Phoenix Robelina or Robelina. Um, $14.98. We also have a, if I'm not mistaken, a Silver Bay Agolima. Let's make sure. It doesn't say it just says Agolima. Let's check. Yeah, it just says Agolima, but it is $26.98. But she's worth it, though, guys. Um, there's a quarter line down in here as well. A nice size Kimberly Queen, I'm pretty sure. $12.98. And then also, as we've seen earlier, we have our Trending Tropical Collections. 
we have the little fiddle again I'm going to do some research on this because um, I want to make sure that it grows small it says perfect for smaller spaces so I'm pretty sure that's probably the smaller compacted one um, we have some more nice looking dumb canes or dipping bakias down in here which I'm pretty sure are the same price $14.98 um, wow, look at these begonias. They are... Oh, and then you can feel, like, the spots on them, guys. Check that out. They're doing okay in here. Um, this loads, they take care of their plants, guys, as you can see. But, um, these are the begonias, I'm not sure, but they are in the new trending tropical pots. Again, these are two different kinds varieties rather I'm pretty sure these here are different because they were they are on the light compared to the other ones just because this is some magnificent coloring pattern texture I mean the camera like is doing literally no justice the little white spots are just you can hear it but um, yeah these are the begonias from the Costa Costa farm collection and here are some more Raven ZZs as well. I also have some variegated Shafara, which, um, which is $14.98. Nice pink quarter line here as well. Now let's check the back side here. Now on the back side, we have some. Strawberry begonias, which were actually they're not really strawberry begonias, but they're not begonias really, I don't think. But as you can see, they are trailing and they send out little babies like that, which is how they spread like drastically, as you can see. Um, now, as you can see, we have here a rosy maiden hair fern. For $3.98. Um, there is also, it looks like an autumn fern. I haven't, I've never seen one of these before. Hmm. We have a crouton back there as well. Um, we also have this one I tried to pronounce earlier, guys. Booz, yep. Arena, yeah, that one. What else do we see in here? Those are those Jacinas that we've seen before. Bird's Nest Fern. Um, we have a purple waffle back in here. Most of these guys are all the same here. As you can see, um, there's a fern stuff back there as well. Uh, what are these called again? Yep, beautiful home decor. Variegated tea drop chaperomia, if I'm not mistaken. They have this shimmer or sheen to it. You really can't. You probably can. There it is. There it is. Kind of. There it is. Yep. It shines in the light. When the light hit it the right way, they shine really good. Another Rex Pagonia there. We have a purple waffle down as well. Um, I think that is it. We have a Sterling Ivy here. Another Crouton. Um, more Croutons as well. Let's move on down here some more. Yeah, we have more croutons there and a dumb cane there as well. Now, I just noticed behind me there are a few more here. Uh, another assorted pot. Florida Beauty. Orchid there. Jelly Bean Peperomia. Um, here is the wall. Oh, here they are. Let's see, guys. There we go. 
Check out this. That is just, look at that. I've never seen a plant like that before. And then we have some small safflower here growing inside of a um, a mixture pot with the orchid as well. Bonsai's here. And I think that is it. Funky looking vermilion. And some more vermilion as well. Now guys, um, I think that is it for this Lowe's here. Um, let me turn the camera around. All right guys, I think that's it. I'm going to come on the outside out here and see what they have, which they don't have. Anything out here again, you know, it's cold, so but yeah, I don't see anything out here. All right. So that is it. So guys, I am currently now heading back to the car and I will see you when I get in there all right guys so we've made it back to the car now as you can see especially from that Lowe's it is a lot better compared to uh, compared to any of the other ones except for well, it kind of ties for another one. Usually, wherever you're from, there's also like a a good like Walmart or bad Walmart or a good grocery store. And it's not per se to say it's bad or anything, but it's more of they have different things just because of the area and the people that they're catering to. So, depending on the area, guys, um those are the kind of plants that you're going to get especially if you don't talk to the people that are over that department but um yeah you guys let's get ready and head to the house i have to um do a repot video today that well the plant really needs to be repotted but um the video you know why not make one while doing it so yeah, let's go ahead and head home, and we can go from there. Now, what I'm going to try and do is cover my Ace hardware stores, and probably next week. I'm pretty sure, uh, I know for a fact I have enough uh, plant nurseries around here that I can do at least one maybe once a week or one every two weeks or something like that but the more the merrier and i do also know that different times of the year also bring in different times of um different kinds i'm sorry of plants as well so i will be doing some back and forth as as well but um as you can see see by that home depot i mean the other one that's in the other city over it's a lot better compared to that one just because the plants sit in the inside instead of outside under some kind of um, canopy or whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah, I think there's only two of uh, those those here on my big box stores i mean sorry home depot big box stores but anywhere else that i've been to outside of the 478 area 
the Home Depot looks awesome. Even the Lowe's looks even a lot better. Like one of the ones I've seen, their grow space was kind of, I don't know, it was like, I don't want to call it a grow tent, but it really looked like an actual grow space. And I loved it, but of course they didn't have anything that I was looking for at the time, so it wasn't a bust, but I do love uh, plant shopping and going to different areas to see what they offer. Because we all know uh, different areas offer different things. Like down here in the south, we get a lot of things late. Uh, usually just because of plants here, I will say take least priority of a lot of things. And I know there are a lot of uh, plant enthusiasts here in Georgia, but I haven't met, I don't want to say any of them, but the ones that, um, let's say, do YouTube or have a... It's not Instagram or Facebook. I'm pretty sure there are, but you know, you are able to not show your location and all this other stuff. So, you know, I know for a fact there are plenty in Atlanta, but you know, I'm like an hour or so away. So, I can't find or haven't found any. I'm not gonna say I can't, let's just say I haven't found anyone from this area that do um, any kind of plant channel or on a scale that is known. I wouldn't even say known, but just someone who's I can find on Facebook or Instagram that's like down the street or five minutes away that loves plants as much as I do. So again, most of my plant friends um, I do have a couple here, don't get me wrong, but they are actually friend friends that like plants, you know, and this was way before I even knew that they, they like plants, so this was a friend based on like a friend-friend relationship and not just based around on, you know, plants, so I found that out a little bit later, but I haven't found anyone within my area that actually do plants, and it sucks, and I do know for a fact they are out here. Um, you see the people with the nice yards and things that are very nice manicured. Um, nice plants, foliage, ground covered. I mean, it's real nice, but I'm pretty sure the inside looks even better. Like, I want to like I want to find a, a plant friend that has like a 10, 15-year-old Monstera Albo, you know, that has taken over the whole house or something like that. You know, something that's that uh, just drop your mouth like what in the world, you know? And I know there are some out there, even some that don't even have um, any kind of social handling or even a YouTube, which is still considered social handling. But um, I know for a fact they are out there and it's just a matter of people finding them or they are uploading pictures or just, you know, I don't know, but one of these days, I don't know, I wish they had like a plant community. You know how they have like the communities like for the seniors and I don't know, I just want a community with nothing but plant caring enthusiasts. So at least that way you have a good 90 to 95% of chance getting the plant that you want just by a simple trade, you know? But hey, I don't know, guys. You know, it's kind of like wishful thinking in a sort, but I don't know. One day, maybe. guys what I'm going to try to do is um, I really do need to hit my ace hardware store they do have some of the 
best plants I've seen. They have the best, best plants in the area that I've seen. Uh, and there's also two nurseries that are out in Fort Valley, Georgia. I think maybe pot, the one is called like the Pottery Place or something like that. Really not sure, but um, Pottery King or Miss, I don't know, Miss Pottery. Just know um, that she has a pretty nice selection of plants and most of my plants that I started off with came from her and I was out there at least every week. That's, that's exactly how, how much um, plants, how many different species of plants that she had out. And we're talking about maybe 50, 75 foot long grow tents. And we're at, um, maybe there are about six, five, six, five or six of them. And, you know, it just took time to go through it. And, um, but unfortunately for the pandemic crap that came along, some people, um, enthusiasts found the spot and, um, kind of wiped her out, but you know, it's okay kind of, sort of. For her, it's okay, but for me, it's not, because that was my spot to go to. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go there, and then there's also one that's right down the street from her that I haven't tried yet, that um, something was going on throughout the year that she had to open and close at a certain time, and unfortunately, that was the time that everybody was working, and it was just stressful, so, you know, whatever. I don't know, guys, but we will figure it out. And then there's also the private-owned nurseries that are in at the Atlanta area. Now, I haven't, again, been to any of those because, of course, they're doing the work, the work week, and that takes some planning, and it's just traffic and people, so I don't know. But I do know of one thing that I will be there eventually um, trying to see what they have to offer and go from there. Alright guys, let me run in this store real quick and grab a soda and I will be right back. Guys, it's supposed to rain, so it hasn't been too bright out here. No, anytime. So it's very cloudy and muggy. So that's always a plus. Back there that I can grab. 
which sucks because it's way on the other side and then you have to walk all the way down. It's crazy. And then I guess you would just have to make two transactions. Which sucks. But hey. Slides back on. I have to grab my mask. Yeah, we can go on in here. All right. Let's turn this around. All right, guys. I'm in here real quick. Um, here we go. Came here to grab me some orchid moss. They have the potting mix as well. Um, the potting mix is 398. I thought about using the potting mix, but I am trying to stray away from the potting mix. Of course, nothing has changed within the, what, 10 minutes, <laughs> 10, 15 minutes that those are some roses. Um, nothing has changed here. Now, I've seen these before. Um, they actually like to be cold. Um, their names are... Uh, I don't know, Solomon or something. I don't know, but I like this deep red down here. As you can see, they are all $12.98 for a pack of, looks like eight, maybe, eight plants. But this red here, again, this camera is doing no justice, but that is a wonderful color there. And I mean wonderful. All right, guys, that is it. Let me check out. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do here is just drive down to the other side because I hate having to walk all the way down here just to turn around and have to walk all the way back down. So, you know, it makes it a lot easier. That is the place I need to be because that is the, the wood entrance. So I'm going to run in here real quick. Oh, gosh, I'm getting out. All right, grab my wallet. I'm going to go in here. And check and see if they have any of my wood pieces. But uh, let's hope they do. We're having to take this door here, which is okay. Eventually, guys, you have to come back with me to do um, some more shopping. And I'm not sure about this one. But I do know the wood is in the back. Not sure. Let's 
should be a a um a, what you call it oh, Hassan. Uh, I can see the wood from way down here. I hate again that they have um, separated like this. They go in one way and the exit is way another way. So that sucks as well. And I'm only looking for little pieces of wood. that you guys have probably seen on most of my plants, so now I have to slow down. So. Light. Light candles. Oh, light candles. Uh, I think we're in the Maybe. Let's check this one here. Um, I see wood, but again, I'm not sure it's what I'm looking for, which may be on the other aisle. Let's try the other eye, guys. As you can see, all of the loads are different. turn the camera around. All right, here are the slabs of wood. Here we go. That I use um I'm not sure which one. I do know it's not the smooth. Smooth one I think is it's probably these here. If I'm not mistaken, guys. So you want to make sure it doesn't have the smooth coating on them. Let's look down here and make sure I got the right one have to make sure um, now once my plants decide to grow some more I'll probably come back and get some of these which as you can see is a lot thicker same height let's back this up they're same height just thicker so if I'm not mistaken it has to be these because those are too big As you can see, I'm um, going to run and check out, and I will see you guys back in the car. All right, guys, we've made it out. Uh, as you can see, I grabbed my wood. Let's get in this car here. Oh.
Alright guys. Alright guys, so that will be the end of our with my vlog style, I guess. Um plant tour today. These will get a lot better. These will get a lot better as time um goes on and I do a lot more of these. But um I would like to thank you guys for coming back and supporting my channel. Please do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, hit that notification bell to keep you notified as to what's going on on this channel. Um, keep in mind also that I will be doing a lot more of these nursery tours because, as I said before, I do love to travel and check out different plant shops around my state instead of the area because my area, again, is not in the capital so you know things differ from where you are but again guys thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys on the next video bye